Hi. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? I hope all of you are doing well and you are enjoying virtual makeup week with us because we are having super fun bringing it to you. This is the next session of the virtual makeup week and I am Kanashka, the editor of Professional Beauty India. Although we all are at home right now, we have so much to do. There is office work, there is household chores, cleaning, don't even get me started on the dishes. Do you think I'm being a bit dramatic? Uh, perhaps I am, but then who doesn't like drama in their lives? And that is why we have with us Sharon Newman today, the ace makeup artist who is going to show us how to add drama to your makeup. So get down with your pens and papers and get the technical details from her as she takes us through glamorous makeup, edgy makeup, makeup with drama. Over to you, Sharon. Thank you, Kanishka. Well, like we said, hello, my name is Sharon and I am coming live to you from Amsterdam. And today we're gonna do a glamour makeup and drama. Who doesn't like drama? And we're gonna add some glitter. And of course, during this time, I also have to protect myself and I have to protect my model. So I will be wearing my mask and then I will introduce you to, uh, to my model, Laura. Okay, so I hope everybody can hear me clearly. It's a little muted, a little bit. Uh, we, can't, we can't hear you properly. You cannot? Can you, can you speak once? How is it now? Can you hear me better? No, it's, it's not audible. Can you hear me better right now? Uh huh. Yes, it's better. Better, better, better. Better. Okay, good. I will try to speak slowly. So, and if you have any questions, please let me know. So this is Laura, and today we're going to do a drama makeup on Laura, and we're going to add some drama to it. And by doing the drama, we're going to use bright colors. Of course, we're going to use glitters. That's the extra touch. And I know everybody in India loves glitter, and so am I. I was born in a rum country. So let's begin. Hi guys, this is Avleen this side. You can you can you can't see me, but you can hear my voice. And may I have a translation here? So whatever Sharon will be speaking, I will be translating it it in Hindi. And जो भी आपके Q and A रहेंगे, मैं उसका भी आपके side by side reply करती रहूँगी. So let's get started with Sharon. Sharon, all over yes. to you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I will be starting with our primer. So this is our pre-base primer, and it's just a nice moisturizer to go underneath your makeup. It doesn't add any extra shine to the skin. It's just so it makes sure that your foundation is on correctly. It glides on like butter, it's very smooth, and it will last you all day. So I apply it with uh, just a foundation brush. You get it all everywhere. So first product which Sharon use kar rahe hai, wo makeup studio ka pre base hai. And pre base jaise aap logo ko pata hai, makeup ko longer lasting rakta hai. Ene ki alag se koi makeup ka layer add nahi karta hai. It will protect your makeup, longer lasting rakhe ga, and it will give a smooth finish. Bohut achhi ek smooth finish aapko makeup ke liye dega. And usko apply karne ke liye hum foundation brush use kar rahe hai. And since I want to use some color today, so I will be uh, applying her eyeshadow first. Because if I get some fallout, we're going to use bright greens. So it's beautiful, but I do not want any green on her foundation. So we're going to start with her eyes, and I'm going to start with her eyebrows. And for that, we're just going to brush them through. We don't have any hairs going in the wrong direction, so you can really see the shape. And then I'm going to use our brow gel in dark to just fill in the gap and create uh, a really nice and sweet shape here. So, first of all, we will start with eye makeup because we are going to use strong colors. 
एंड बिफोर आई मेकअप हम आईब्रोज को फिल कर ले करेंगे एंड उसके लिए हम आईब्रोज को अच्छे से कोम कर रहे हैं हेयर को ताकि हम प्रॉपरली फिलिंग कर सके तो फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट जो यूज कर रहे हैं वो मेकअप स्टूडियो का प्रो ब्रो जेल है एंड द शेड इज डार्क एंड हम यूज कर रहे हैं एंगल्ड ब्रश एक टेपर्ड ब्रश यूज कर रहे हैं सो दैट हम उससे बहुत अच्छे फाइन स्ट्रोक्स हेयर स्ट्रोक्स हम क्रिएट कर सके आईब्रोज के बॉटम पार्ट में है हम एक पूरी एक लाइन क्रिएट कर रहे हैं सो दैट तो आप देख सकते हैं कि कितना इम्पोर्टेंट है आईब्रोज को फिल करना आप एक एक्चुअल में एक डिफरेंस देख सकते हैं जहाँ पे हमने आईब्रोज फिल करी हैं दूसरी तरफ नहीं फिल करी हैं तो जो जो स्कैंटी पार्ट है वहां पे हम हेयर स्ट्रोक्स की तरह ही ब्रश मूवमेंट हम यूज कर रहे हैं फिल करने के लिए प्रोडक्ट को अच्छे से स्प्रेड करने के लिए यू कैन यूज द ब्रश आप फुली यूज कर सकते हैं एंड उससे कोम कर सकते हैं अगेन प्रोडक्ट इवनली स्प्रेड हो जाता है Okay. So now I'm going to take my concealer box. Um and we're going to do another layer change. And we go underneath her brow. So I'm going to take this is uh from our 6 color concealer box in um number 1 and all of these are just our single concealer so this is number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 green and orange so right now i'm going to think i'm going to just going to mix number 2 and 3 cuz i don't want it to be like bright white underneath her eyebrow so we're just going to take a bit of the product and you just want to sharpen underneath you know what we are going to take a little bit of one तो शारन जो पैलेट यूज कर रही है इंडिया में उस पैलेट का नंबर है EP001 इट्स अ कंसीलर पैलेट कंसीलर पैलेट EP001 एंड उस पैलेट में से नंबर 1 शेड यूज कर रहे हैं एंड ऑफ कोर्स ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम आई एम टचिंग हर स्किन सो रियली मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव योर अम योर हैंड्स वेरी गुड एंड डिसइंफेक्टेड
All right. To the other side. Concealer को apply करने के लिए हम एक concealer brush use कर रहे हैं. Evelyn, I think I'm going to start talking in Hindi because I think I understand what you said. <laughs> I am using concealer brush. <laughs> it's number 25. Yeah. Pro brush number 25. Okay, so we clean up underneath the brows and then I'm going to start applying some eye primer. So my eyeshadow will really be very intense on her skin. The next product we will use karenge, that is eye primer. So that aapko eye shadow ki jo intensity hai, wo baut achhi mile. So this is the eye primer. It looks like a skin tone, but on your skin it's clear. I'm again gonna take a concealer brush, but this one is a little bit bigger. Because, you know, the area of her eye is a little bit bigger as well. So I just make it easy for myself. And apply it all over her lid. and a little bit outwards. Okay, so you do not want to use too much of this product because right now you see it's a little bit more it has some egalization, it calms the skin of her eyes. But if you use too much, you get the opposite effect. The primer makes sure that your, your eyeshadow will hold better and be more intense. If you use too much of the primer, it will start to feel like butter almost. And it gets very warm and very creasy. And especially in your climate where it's very warm, you get the opposite effect of it staying on for a longer time. So use a little. So, when you use eye primer, you have to use a specific quantity. You have to use a lot of product. If you apply a lot of product, you can feel the greasiness on your eyelids and your eye shadow. You can slip. So, we always use a thin lid to use a thin layer. Okay. So, we will use a concealer brush. So I have my green eyeshadow. This is from our wet and dry collection. So, well, like the name says, I can use this dry. And since I have the primer on, it's good and intense. I will use it dry. But um, if you want, you can get more intensity from the product. So you moist your brush and it gets a lot heavier. Okay. So next product we are using is the eyeshadow range ka brush, uh, product. Hai. It's a matte eyeshadow in green color. Yes, this is number eight. So it's a very bright green. And I'm going to use this pencil brush. And I'm just going to start creating the shape of her eye um, in her crease. So I'm just going to take the product on my brush, tap it because it's very intense in pigment. I don't want to have to clean up too much after I'm done. And I always like to use Laura to keep her eyes open and look straight forward. Because this way I can really see, okay, if I go higher than this, it might not look very nice. So we take the color. So just create matte, like a basic shape. Yeah. So we are matte eyeshadow number 8, which is in the EP048 palette. Ke andar aata hai. And brush, I think we are using number 43. Number, uh, 10. number 11. A little bit number smaller 11. than the 43. Yeah. yeah. Blending brush number 11 use kar rahe hai. And product we are crease area mein apply kar rahe hai. Okay, you can close your eyes, Laura. Now I can start blending because I don't want to have like a very, very bold green. I also want to mix it with some darks, but I do want it to blend seamlessly into the skin tone. 
So take your time when blending. That's very important. So application करने के बाद product की अब हम उसे blend कर रहे हैं with small circular movements. Oh, the color picks up really nice. Yeah. So you see, I have darkened also the inner corner, and I'm also gonna darken a little bit of the outer corner, and then connect them together a little. तो हमने आई शेडो की जो इंटेंसिटी है वो आउटर एंड इनर कॉर्नर में डार्क रखी है ओके, सो नाउ टू क्रिएट एन एक्स्ट्रा डेप्थ, आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अ डिफरेंट कलर ऑफ ग्रीन दिस इज आर डार्कर ग्रीन दिस इज इन आर कलर नंबर 206, सो इट्स लाइक स्पेशली कंपेयर टू द अदर वन यू सी देर यू दिस वन इज अलॉट डार्कर And we're just going to define the depth of her um, of the shadow. So next shade, जो हम use कर रहे हैं, वो हमारी palette में आता है EP zero ten palette के अंदर, and shade number है two zero six. It's a dark green color. Or is so shade? Really हमें dark in the inner color. Yeah. एंड हम इससे डेप्थ क्रिएट कर रहे हैं हम इसको इनर एंड आउटर कॉर्नर्स में ग्रीन के साथ ओवरलैप करते हुए अप्लाई कर रहे हैं एंड आई वांट टू डू दिस प्रिसाइसली बिकॉज़ आई डोंट वांट टू मेस अप व्हाट आई हैव डन विद द ग्रीन सो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग माय टाइम एंड यूजिंग अ क्वाइट ऑफ अ स्मॉल ब्रश एक्चुअली इज रियली परफेक्ट फॉर अन एनीथर आईज बट इट्स आल्सो रियली नाइस इफ यू वांट टू डू अ लिटिल बिट मोर ऑफ डिटेल्ड वर्क Okay, take my previous brush, which still has a little bit of green on it, so I can blend them together seamlessly. So, हम दोनों shapes को blend कर रहे हैं. I really make sure that it connects to the bottom. Okay, so as you can see, we do already have some fallout. So I'm just gonna swipe this away with a clean cotton, and then later we use a little bit of remover and we clean everything. All right, so we have uh, already a, like a nice and green base, but I want to make it. And add more drama. So we're going to go back to our trusty concealer palette. So we have created a proper shape for the eyes. We have created with the green eyeshadows. Next, we are using concealer palette. We are going to take the lightest color. And this is just an easy trick. Right now, textbook is what is called halo eye. Because you have a, a lighter center and a darker on the inner and the outer corner, really like a like a halo. So you do this trick: you put your concealer on the bottom, and then Laura can look up. Really make sure your client does not go like this. Hold it her head and look down. Let me apply a little bit more so we can really see it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Do you see the little line on top? This is where her eyelid ends. So this is my perfect guiding of where I want my concealer to be. So हम जो eye makeup की technique use कर रहे हैं, उस technique का नाम है Hello Eye. So basically इस technique में आपका जो inner and outer corners हैं, वो हम dark रखते हैं, and जो eyelid का center part है, वहाँ पे हम सबसे lighter color use करते हैं. तो हम कंसीलर यूज कर रहे हैं एट द सेंटर पार्ट आईलिड के सो यू सी यू ऑलरेडी हैव अ लिटिल सेंटर ऑफ वेयर योर लाइट विल हिट 
And then we can come back to our eyeshadows and we're going to add a little bit more. So I also have this um, color pigment in green. And this will, it's very, it's very metallic, so it's nice and reflective and it will just really nicely blend to an inner center. So you get all these different shades of green just in one eye look. So for this, I'm gonna use a flat brush. It's like, a, it's our brush. It's very small, very precise. So next, we're Makeup Studio ka color pigment use kar rahe hai in the shade green. Green shade hai, its ka naam color pigment ka. And we make flat eyeshadow brush se apply kar rahe hai its color pigment ko eyelid pe. So you just want to make sure that like you don't have like okay here's your dark here's your white really blend it together it will give you the nicest effect if you can see I, I hope you can see on camera I do see it in real life but how shiny and reflective this product is and again this can also be used wet and you get like a very intense green like maybe for an eyeliner or something so our color pigments are, you can use it with a wet brush ke bhi use kar sakte ho and you will get a strong intensity and you can apply it like a liner. Apply kar sakte okay. Then we're going to just fill the middle again with a green. We go, you see, we keep getting lighter and lighter. This is our Lumiere, it's called Luxurious Lime. So it's like a lime green, but almost kind of gives you a really nice and golden glow. And we're just gonna press this in the center. So next product, which we are using in our Lumiere palette, EP026, mein, Luxurious Lime color. Hai. And Lumiere eyeshadow is our big eyeshadow range. Hai. So we are Shade ko hum center of the eyelid pe use kar rahe hai. So this is the lightest. Ye sabse light green color humne use kiya hai ab. So I just found that this line was a little bit too harsh. So I want to lighten it. And then I want to add a little bit more of the bright green on the edge. And for that, I'm going to take a very, very big brush. It's very fluffy, as you can see. And I'm just going to, because then it's it's like a dust, a little green dust that goes around. So just take a little bit, only on one side. And just really start smoking the green. So in our crease area, if you want to blend it, fluffy brush use kar rahe hain and hum hamara green eyeshadow use kar rahe hain number 8 eyeshadow taki jo bhi strong line hai usko hum bahut acche se blend kar sake then we still have a little of the like the wet concealer on top so we're just going to take a light eyeshadow this is in 106 you don't need much i just need something to make sure that it's set underneath her brow and then it will just brighten up everything a little bit. So we're just going to press the number 106, like right on top. Next shade we use using is our EP008 palette, se, 106 shade number. Hai. And white color, we use our frontal bone, which is our eyebrows ka niche highlighted area, we are applying it there. So we're just going to... Okay. So we're gonna start on the bottom just a little bit. We're gonna finish it um, as soon as we've done our foundations, of course, but I just wanna make like a little bit of the line and of course repeat it on the other eye. This will just look kind of weird. So take my pencil brush, take my number eight eyeshadow and I'm just gonna go all along her bottom lash line. Now, Laura is not wearing contact lenses, but if your client does really make sure that it's it's, like you tap it very well because you don't want all the dust of your eyeshadow to go all the way into her eye and into her lens so make sure that you're always very precise and gentle when going underneath somebody's eye 
तो हम बॉटम लास्ट लाइन में भी हमारा नंबर एट आई शेडो यूज कर रहे हैं विद द स्मॉल राउंड ब्लेंडिंग ब्रश विच इज नंबर इलेवन Okay, now I also have another beauty here. This is our shiny effect and it's in golden light. So I have a little nice and gold shimmer and I really want to use it on the inner corner of our eyes. And maybe I just a tiny, final little touch on top of the halo. And then we're going to also apply glitter, but I'm just going to do this one first and then we're going to do the glitter on simultaneously on both sides. So take your gold. तो नेक्स्ट प्रोडक्ट हम यूज कर रहे हैं हमारे शाइनी इफेक्ट से ये अगेन आई शेडो पिगमेंट है एंड द शेड इज गोल्डन सन यू सी वी जस्ट ब्राइटन अप हर आई जस्ट अ लिटिल बिट स्पेशली इफ वी आई एम जस्ट गोना क्लीन इट नाउ बिकॉज़ आई डोंट लाइक इट माइसेल्फ व्हेन इट्स स्टिल देयर To clean, I'm just going to use a little lotion and a little cotton. Okay. All right. So these steps I'm going to repeat on the other side, but uh, since this is a little bit less visible, uh if you have any questions or something maybe now is also a time that I can answer them if you have them. And otherwise we uh I think you already got them as well, yes, Blaine. Sharan, they have uh like they are asking of course they are asking about the product. So simultaneously yeah. I am replying on the Facebook. Oh good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So first, keep your eyes open, Laura. Help yourself so you can see the shape. Start building it up. The so same steps hum ab repeat kar rahe hain dusri eye pe. So dark in the inner corner connect it with the outer corner Charlene someone has uh, Richard Joseph is asking that can we use wet application for Lumiere eyeshadows From Lumiere also yes that will give it even more of a shine if you use a lumiere wet and maybe um especially in india because it's a lot more humid and it's a, a lot warmer and well for us here in europe and especially in the netherlands it's a lot rainy um so you want it to be a little bit more waterproof so mm -hmm. i love using our makeup fixer and i just mm -hmm. press it on my brush so i don't wet my brush with water i wet my brush with the makeup fixer and that way i have a waterproof application while doing your eyeshadow wet mm -hmm. and also he is asking does the eyeshadow primer make the eye makeup waterproof or water resistant um i probably will make it a little bit more resistant to well anything actually so also a little bit more to water uh, however it because you apply a very small amount it's not like i would jump in a pool just because i wear eye primer but it will definitely be a very long lasting effect throughout the day because it does contain a little bit of oil and it simultaneously also contains vitamin e which is also very nice and nourishing for your eyes so it's also like a little nice moisturizer for your uh, for your eyelids Yeah. But definitely, it will be wearable. Yeah. 
blend them together a little bit. Okay. I can try to go like this, but it's a little bit darker on this side. Yeah. It'll be okay in the end. All right, next step is the concealer again. So take the lightest concealer that you have. You know, you can also use like a, a very light foundation or a white color cream base. This will just give me the intensity of creating something light on top of something dark. Like I don't have to clean the middle of our eyeshadow. I just go right on top and kind of erase what I've done before. Blend out the edges nicely. See if this works. Okay. I think everybody is loving the pro brush number eight, the fluffy brush. Yes. It's a multitasker. Number eight. And number eight is also amazing for like. I could have used it to blend the outer part. I can use it to create a very subtle crease. You can create it underneath, um, like as a concealer brush. That one is multifunctional. In fact, for nose contouring, for applying highlighter, it is Ex yes, great. Yes, yes, I forgot that part. Yeah. And But I also don't, I think what the one I used right now, um, yeah, that was number eight. It's number sister. It's number nine. That one is also really nice. Yeah, yeah. Just to see the difference. Oh, there we go. So number eight, of course, has a little bit of the green. Number nine is more like a round version of it. So it's like round all the way and not completely flat. So I never leave my house without these two. So the color pigment, maybe just for an extra touch of shine to it. <clears throat> Take our Lumiere again. So this is the luxurious lime. Just a fancy word of creating a nice yellow. So we have used different, different colors use kare hai, green. Ke. So basically different shades use kiye hai, humne green. Ke. This is not to me, right, Avlain, or? Right. Sorry? Kit did you, did you were in Hindi, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> So I wish I could have done this and meet you all on the stage in Mumbai. That would have been a lot of fun because last year I had a blast meeting everybody at the fair. Hopefully next year. Yes. But this is a very cool way. A full week full of artists. I've been loving the video so far. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna take my lighter color and go underneath her brow. Sharon Robert Jensen, he's commenting. Please tell Sharon she's doing a great job. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Robert. Seeing you? Robert Jensen. Uh, <laughs> that's so nice. Thank you. Okay, clean up time. Get 
just going to clean up a little bit nicer, but I need two hands for this. Make sure it's dry. I don't want to create a difference in intensity just by like um, by accident have it on a wet surface. Okay. So back with the number eight with the number 11. Take your darker green in her corner. Alrighty. Okay. I think it's time for uh, for some glitter, Laura. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna use two different kinds. I have our glimmer effect. Oh, let's see if you can see it. Well, it looks kind of white now, but on her, it will look like oh, amazing. This is called Pearl Star. So it gives you like all different kind of color dimensions. And I'm gonna apply this with our two-way gel. This is a gel that you do underneath anything loose or underneath uh, glitters. And it will just really keep it in place. Like you can rub on it, you can touch it. It will not come off. Well, of course with remover, but like you can apply it wherever you want and the glitter will stay in its place. So I'm just gonna first apply a little bit of the two-way gel and then we're gonna press the glitter inside the gel. Don't do too much. So next, we are going to apply glitter on the eyeshadow. So for that, we are using two-way gel, which is glitter glue or glitter adhesive, you can say it. And we are using glitter, its name is Glimmer Effect in the shade Pearl Star. The name of glitter is Pearl Star. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, so I have some of the glitter on my brush. I always dab it on my own skin first. So I have like the least amount of fallout on her skin because we probably all know how hard it is to remove glitter from skin. Oh, can you see it? I can. <laughs> you know what, just for the camera, we put on more. So we use the center part, where we use luxurious lime shade, we are applying the glimmer effect on the pearl star. In real life, it's very sparkly. On camera, I see it just a little bit, but you get the feeling. Yeah, we can see the difference. You don't? Or you do? We, we, we can, we can. Okay, great. That looks more popped up. Gel again. So Sharon, can Press you it on my how, hand? Much, how much quantity we should use for two-way gel while applying the two-way gel? Just a very like you just want to have a surface for the glitter to stick to. So I don't want it to be like I can really like scoop so you just want something and like a very light layer and then just press the glitter inside if it's very thick you need quite a lot of glitter to really make it stick and mm -hmm. to keep it there in place so just very lightly like brush on it once on each area and then it's it's fine yeah what less quantity may have used cut then to visual could just not quite glitter could hold cut naked up to use cut my head if you use a lot, you can also create a patch. I'm just going to, like I didn't put two-way gel there, but since my brush is a little bit moist, I just press in a corner, in a corner. So I have a little bit of glitter without it being too much. So now I'm going to just add one more glitter. This is our jewel effects. And I know you love this too, Evelyn. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Dual effect is just a real silver. It's cut up silver. This is in shine. We also have it in sparkle, which is a bigger grain. So this is in shine. And it is just very intense 
in color and in glitter. The next oh, product, that one you do see. Yeah. The next product we are using is our jewel effect. Hai, and jewel effect we are using to shine, which is very fine particles. Hai. Okay, so I will speed up a little bit, Aline. I think I'm taking my time a little bit too much. Yeah. So just remove a little bit of the glitter. Extra glitter ko hum remove kar rahe hai. And then I like to start with applying the foundation. And for Laura, I'm going to use our Face It Cream Foundation. And this is in color beige. So it's quite light. So I'm foundation just going to apply it foundation all over. For foundation, we are Face It Foundation. Use kar rahe hai. And for Laura, we are beige shade use kar rahe hai, Face It Foundation. Ka. Of course, I'm going to use concealer, so I don't have to go like with my sponge and foundation all the way up to the bottom of her, um, like underneath her eye. So we perfect blending sponge use kar rahe hai. Face with foundation ko apply karne ke liye, and usi se hum blend kar rahe hai product ko. And then I always like to start off with my base as um, with my sponge. One, it's quite quick. It blends well. And then I can just take a little brush and then maybe like do a little bit of the edges or wherever I have a little bit of trouble. So sponge se use karna ek to aapke liye hi quick method rata hai. And a maximum area face pe aap cover kar lete hain jab aap sponge use karte hain. I'm just going to take a little bit of my blending pencil. This is a smaller one. Just like so I can really go like um, in the sides of her nose, the chin line, and touch the brows. So foundation to blend for our pro brush number 35 use kar rahe hai. Sharon Bhavna is makeover is asking that your sponge was it damp or dry? It was. Yeah. yeah. So my sponge, I have moistened it and rinsed out very nicely, so it's quite fluffy, and it's really soft now. So when you have a dry sponge, it's a lot smaller, and it becomes a little bit more intense. So right now, because it's damp, you get a very clear view, and it's very polished. When it's dry, it's quite uh, heavy in the covering. Yeah. Hey. That was me. I'm sorry. I hope didn't scare anybody. <laughs> so, concealer time. On my spatula. This is concealer number one from the the box that we've used underneath her eyebrows and the halo. So I'm just going to use, um, oh, sorry. Yeah, number one, the one in the middle, number two. 
Number two. Number two. The next one concealer palette use कर रहे हैं हमारा EP zero zero one concealer palette and उसमें से हम number two shade कर रहे हैं use so it's a concealer brush because it's a lot smaller I can go underneath and then really blend it well with uh with her eyeshadow. Okay. So, um, bottom lash line may already eyeshadow apply kar chuke hai to aapko careful rete huye hi concealer ko apply karna hai and usse blend karna hai So when I, after I do my contour, I will put on a little bit more powder and then put on a little bit more of the green so it's really nice and smoky. But I don't want to, like, if I go on top with my concealer and I'm, and start smudging, you might get yourself into a little bit of trouble. So it will get better in the end. Just hang in, blend, blend, blend. And after powder, then you fix what's underneath her eyes. Don't rush yourself. Sharon, we have a question. Which yes. foundation gives full coverage for pigmentation plus open pores in combination skin type? One more time. A covering foundation for full, with uh, open pores with Yeah. Full full coverage, open pores full coverage. and combination skin type. Okay. Um, well, our most full coverage foundation is the Face It foundation that we have used right now. And yeah, you can use it quite covering. You can also use it very transparent, but because it's a very high amount of pigmentation, so you get full coverage like straight away. Um, the thing is, it's, it, it does contain a little bit of cream. So for a mixed type, it's actually, it's fine. For the open pores, I recommend always using the primer. That way you get like the smoothest surface. Like, as you can see, Laura, she... Like her skin, it looks already like porcelain because we have applied a very nice primer. Well, this is also what her mama gave her, but still, like when you apply a nice primer, everything is like already a little bit like almost filled and eagleized. So especially then with a little bit of more open pores, use a correct primer and you can still use the face's foundation and have full coverage. And if you really have those pigmentation spots, like some are very dark, maybe use a little bit from the concealer and then you use the orange and you put some orange on top of the little bit darkness of the of the pigmentation and then you apply your face it so i'm going to start the contour this is our uh, face shape palette in cream and i'm going to use the darker one underneath and we're just going to create the contour shape just going to take some out and that's well because it's also face it cream. So it's the same product on the same product. And it's nice and creamy, so you can blend it well. We set it with powder, and we're almost done. So next, we are highlighting contouring. For this, we are using our shaping palette. Which is our palette is EP 064. In which we have cream contouring and highlighting shades. So we are using our palette EP 064. So, we are contouring to start with the first So, what I do, I start at the top of her ear. I follow her own bone structure. I blend it a little bit upwards. But I want to stop, like if you would hold a line, like over her pupil, like allow her if you look straight to her. So, if you hold it to here, you want this to stop, like where her eye stops. So I leave a little bit of space in between because when I start blending, it will come out a little bit further. So this way I have like the great shape that really suits her uh, face shape because you always have to really make sure that you have the, the right shape for every person. Just going to do a little bit along the hairline. This is just a little bit. If somebody maybe have like a, a hairline that's a little bit higher, 
then you want to make it sure it comes down a little bit more. Take a little bit on her chin, but not too much, like our no, chin uh, drawline. So we will apply natural bone structure ke accordingly contouring shade. Apply kar rahe hai. And then pro brush number 35, we will contouring shade. Ko blend kar rahe hai. So you see, you just have like a little hue of what I've done. It's not too much. So you get like a very nice and soft blend together with your foundation. And contouring is like you can make everybody, um, like you just give dimension to her skin. But let's say if she would have like a very square jawline, I could use the contour and like almost cut on top of the jaw and really make it more round or more oval shaped. So you can really re recreate somebody's um, form. Blend, blend, blend. Just use like nice and circular motions. So you see now you have, especially with the difference between the two, you can see here there's like a soft blend. Everything will just, um, lower a bit as soon as we use the powder. So never be afraid that it's too much. You can always take some off. Okay, just for you, I'm just gonna show you again. Top of her ear. And you wanna stop where her eye begins. So leave myself a little bit of blending room and blend upwards. We have used the technique basically top of the ear we have start the contouring line ko. and we have end kiya hai jahan pe hamare eyes ka outer corner hai. because when we blend the product aage jayega hi to we usko wahi pe stop kar diya hai. and then same we have contouring shade forehead pe temple area pe apply kiya hai and jaw line pe apply kiya hai. and with brush number 35 Pro brush number 35, we circular movements ke blend kar rahe hai. Let me take this off my hand. If you're ever afraid, like, oh no, don't too much. This is your eraser and you have your foundation. And wherever you feel like you have to blend more, you can use the sponge. Kar sakte so you can Now I'm gonna set her skin with translucent powder. So this is our translucent powder extra fine. This is the number one, so it's colorless. You can use it almost on everybody. And if you're afraid that somebody has a little bit more of a darker skin and you're afraid like maybe it can go to the grayish side, you can use maybe number two. Uh, number three has a lot of like um, reddish warmth to it. Number four is like, um, like an ochre mustard yellow color or maybe even a little bit more ginger color. And then you can use that one. So I don't want to use too much. So I'm going to take some product on my brush and run it through the lid. So now it's just a very dusty brush and I don't like put a uh, very heavy hand right away on her skin. So this is just a setting powder. It makes sure that my foundation is fixed, that it stays in place a long time. But it also, as you can see on the forehead already, it removes um, shine. So the next product we are using is translucent powder extra fine hai. and we are using hum number one shade and colorless powder hai ya bilkul and aapke foundation ko bhoat achche se ye set kar deta hai is mein humare different different shade options aate hai like number one, number two, number three and number four now I'm gonna take a powder puff and just really make sure that the concealer is properly 
powdered. And something I really always like to do, because I can really create a beautiful shape with this. I'm gonna clean it up with a brush, don't worry. So I take the powder, I have it on quite heavy on my puff. And I just wanna make like a very harsh line underneath and let that sit for a little bit. Because this way I get a little bit extra highlight underneath that really makes sure that um, the shadow that I put underneath her jawbone is quite intense. So, we apply a powder puff with translucent powder. We apply it where we have done contouring on our face. So that we can create a strong effect in sculpting. Ka. And so just to clean up, you take your pencil brush, a little bit of number eight of the eyeshadow, all the way inside. Sharon, we have one question. Is yes? translucent powder extra fine universal shade that can go in all skin tones? Um, number of number one can go on all skin tones? Yeah. Yes, yes. Even on a very dark, like almost like African dark skin, number one might still look good if you apply it like soft and fluffy, like we did with um, with the brush. So then you can just remove some of this. So as you can see, like right here, it's lighter than where I've had applied it here, because here it's only been like a little bit of dusty. Yeah. So it's not very intense or um, make sure that it's highlighting when you apply it on dark skin, but with powder puff or with damp sponge, then it becomes a little bit heavier and more intense. Then I would use another shade. Yeah. So just to enhance the color, I'm gonna use our compact mineral powder. This is in color sunrise and just give you like a little bit more of a bronzy tone and a more, um, yeah, like almost like the name, like a sun effect. So just a little bit on the parts where I've done the contour. The so next time we use our compact mineral powder. Use kar rahe hai, so that we make bronzed effect de sake face pe. And for this one, I, I, well, maybe it's a personal choice. I like using a little bit of the, the bronzer and just run it like a little bit to the side of her nose. So you get like a very soft nose contour rather than doing it with the, um, with the cream foundation. But that's just something personal that I like to do. I don't want it to be too intense. I want it to be nice and light. And then with my powder puff, put a little line in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish up her eyes with just a little bit of dark um, eye definer pencil, a little bit on top of the lash line and inside her waterline. The so next um, color proof eye definer pencil use kar rahe hai. in the shade. Which shade you are using, Shari? This is black. Um, color proof eye definer pencil use kar rahe hai, black shade. Mein. And I'm just gonna use this because when I use just a little bit on the edge of her um, eyelashes, it almost makes it look like they're extra long. So maybe you can open. It might be a little bit difficult to see on camera, but if you have a little bit of darkness there, it's almost like your eyelash goes a little bit deeper than it actually does. It is visible. From bilkul lash, jo humari lash line hai, uske bhoat closely hum isko apply kar rahe hai. Okay, you can just go all the way up. Give your model or your client time to, um, to blink, because this is not fun for them. So just do one section, one section, one section, and give her the option to blink in between. 
So as you can see, a dark pencil inside the waterline is very, like, I really, I like it. It's like a little bit sexy, very dark. But if you want to brighten it, you can use like a concealer pencil and then just make a wider line inside for that. But I love using the black. The same color proof eye definer hum water line may be used kar rahe hai, bottom lash line may. Mascara. This is our 40. Where are you? Well, you have to believe me. This is our 4D false lash effect mascara. Will it work? Okay, it will not. That's no problem. Focus on Laura. <laughs> yeah. So it's the 4D false lash effect mascara. And this is one in original. And original has like the smallest little brush. So I can, well, Laura has big, big eyelashes but I can get like into any, if you have very deep eyes or maybe small eyes or very small lashes, this brush will just make sure that you can get to any little hair without like having a, a mess and stamping your mascara on your, um, on your eyelids. The next hum you use karein, that is 4D false effect lash mascara. down a little bit. I'll also apply false lashes. So you don't have to like really make sure that like every little hair is coated as long as the bottom is coated very nicely because that's the part that you actually see. The top will be covered with a false lash. So eyes close karke and upper se stretch, stretch karke mascara apply kar rahe hain, so that ek acha curled effect hume mile okay i'm just gonna let it dry for a little bit you see how much lengthening this mascara gives you jesus laura <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let it dry because I don't want to apply a false lash while it's still very sticky. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna apply my blusher. This is our blusher Lumiere. And this is my absolute favorite color. It's silk rose. And I'm just gonna apply it a little bit on the apple of her cheek to give you a little bit of extra freshness and color. And it has a really nice glow to it as well. That's quite a lot. So Luckily for the we have our eraser. So blusher ke liye hum hamara Lumiere eyeshadow use kar rahe hain in the shade Silk Rose. Ye hamare EP zero twenty eight palette ke andar aata hai. And shade name is Silk Rose. I just want to fix it a little because it's very pinky. I know I love it, but I, I love it too much. So take your foundation and just soften it. Fix it with a little bit of powder. Because I don't want it to be sticky. We set everything with powder, so I need to reset a little bit of the foundation here as well. Now I'm going to take our highlight. This is our highlight in shimmer effect. This is um, a liquid highlighter that doesn't have any loose glitter particles. So sometimes when you have a highlighter, it can be very, very glittery with and this one is very reflective in color. So we're just gonna take this one and apply it very lightly, very lightly. So next time shimmer if use kar rahe hai, highlighting ke liye. What shade you're using? 
Shall. Uh, this one is champagne. So it's uh, a very light one, as you can see. So we have it in, in, in silver, champagne, bronze, and in gold. And I love using the champagne because it really is very reflective in light, but it's also light in color. Like you already see it. So I'm shimmer effect use kar rahe hai, and your shade hai hai uska naam hai champagne. So and as you can see, you use like you use very little because you just want to have the shine. But I don't want it to be very uh, thick. And if it's too thick, you're going to get in trouble because we've used cream foundation and then powder. But if you use it lightly, like you see how nice and shiny this is without it being very glittery. So you see a little bit of the difference? Take it on her cheekbone. So we are using less quantity use kar rahe because already face ko hum powder kar chuke hain and powdered face pe jab aap liquid product use karte ho aapko bahut carefully apply karna hota hai kyunki already niche aapka cream foundation humne face se use kiye hain which uska pura ek layer aa chuka hai and uske upar aap translucent powder se powder kar chuke hain and then uske upar aap ek liquid highlighter laga rahe hain so bahut hi थिन लेयर आपको यूज करनी है आप अपनी फिंगर्स यूज कर सकते हो उसको ब्लेंड करने के लिए सो एज यू कैन सी आई अप्लाइड इट आल्सो ऑन द क्यूपिड बो ऑफ हर लिप टू रियली इंटेंसिफाई द द शेप ऑफ हर लिप एंड इट विल क्रिएट आल्सो अ लाइक अ नाइस वॉल्यूम टू इट एंड अ लिटिल बिट अबव हर आईब्राउज जस्ट टू गिव इट अ लिफ्ट एंड व्हाटएवर आई हैव लेफ्ट ऑन माय फिंगर आई जस्ट प्रेस इट लाइक वंस और ट्वाइस ऑन हर नोज So you don't really see it that well, but it still gives you a little bit of shimmer because I don't like it when it's very highlighted on her nose, but I do like it if it will catch some light. So just with whatever is left from blending, use that on the nose. Now we're going to go to her lips. And for that first step, I'm going to use a lip primer. So I have it in this nice lip prime stick. Again, it looks like it has color, but on your lips, it's just a very, very um, transparent or clear skin tone. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my spatula, especially at this time, you really want to work as hygienic as you can. So from your spatula with the lip brush, this is our nylon lip brush in number 29. Just apply it all over her lip. You're using uh, lip primer? तो हम लिप प्राइमर अप्लाई कर रहे हैं लिप्स पे सो यू सी दिस इज द सेक्शन आई हैव नॉट डन येट सो इट्स नो दिस सेक्शन सो यू कैन सी दैट इट्स ऑलमोस्ट क्लियर बट इट वुड जस्ट गिव यू अ नाइस होल्ड टू योर लिपस्टिक एंड स्पेशली इफ यू हैव लाइक अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ टिंटेड लिप्स इफ यू सी अ नाइस लिपस्टिक इन द स्टोर एंड you really like that color but on your lips it will come out differently you use your lip primer because your lip primer gives just gives you like a clean base first and then really make sure that the lip from your lipstick the color will really transfer onto your lips so aapko lip primer use karna chahiye in the case someone has टेंटेड लिप्स है बेसिकली पिगमेंटेशन है अगर लिप्स के ऊपर या चैप लिप्स हैं तो इन दैट केस एंड आपको ट्रू कलर चाहिए लिपस्टिक का तो आपको लिप प्राइमर यूज करना बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट है सो राइट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू यूज़ आर ड्यूरेबल लिप कंट्रोल पेंसिल दिस इज़ इन कॉल्ड मैड मैड मो एंड दिस इज़ जस्ट अ रियली नाइस इट्स अ लिटिल बिट मोर देन अ न्यूड बट इट्स नॉट टू हैवी दैट इट विल टेक अवे फ्रॉम हर ग्रीन आई because i want to focus to be on her eyes so i'm just going to follow the contours of her lip avlin you're um you're muted i is that a 
on purpose. I'm not sure. As you can see, I just follow the lip line and just really sketch it a little bit, blend it out downwards. Do the same on her bottom lip. Follow the contour. And blend it a little bit inwards. Ah, Evelyn's back. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. hear you. So due to time crunch, we have left only a few minutes. Yeah, well, I'm just lipstick. If you want, I can do without eyelashes because it really looks nice. And then uh, fixing spray. Still, we have five to six minutes. I think we can wrap up oh, till perfect. then. Yeah. So this is our lipstick. It's in Nude Nirvana. Use the same lip brush. So we have lip contour pencil use kariye mad mad mo, and now we are lipstick use kare in the shade uh, nude nirvana. So we have lip pencil se proper outline diya hai hamare lip ko, and then now we fill kar rahe hai nude nirvana shade se. Really make sure you get the corners of the lip as well, because you don't want your model to be smiling in a picture and then see that you left out a little bit of her lip and see the actual lip color. You don't want it to be full all over. Just gonna take a little bit of my shiny effects and the golden light again. as a little highlight on her lip, just to tie a little bit of the gold back to the screen. I'm going to take my lashes. These are the lashes in number 26. So they're very nice and wispy and give you a very um, like full, almost 3D effect. So we are lash number 26 in Makeup Studio. Se, and they are natural looking and wispy lashes. Hai. Okay, so you want to apply the lash glue on the rim of the lashes on the corner. Will that work? No, it's fine. But you don't want to, like when you apply it, it's wet, so you don't want to strictly put it on. So really just wave it around a little bit. Yeah, so lashes go, when you put glue on the lash strip, pe. You have to dry it and stick it in the middle. And when applied, hold it in place. If you don't want your lash to come off. Okay, you can open. So the glue will still have to dry a little bit. Did you find? Oh, well. I see glue. Yeah, only. Do the other one. You see the lash makes a lot of difference. It, it's a lot of volume and a lot of length. Yeah. And guys, please don't worry. If anyone has question skip, ho gaya hai, I will be replying in the comments on Facebook. Oh, good. So apply and hold it in place. 
And I think we are, I think, left with the last final step. Take things for Yeah. Take the bottle. And always do a little test first. So spray like into nothing because maybe something is blocking and you have your nice makeup and then you just get one big, like a line of uh, spray. And you want it to be very misty. So I'm just going to. So last, the product we are using, it is our makeup fixer, which will lock your makeup completely lock karega and waterproof. Banayega. Okay. Okay. Laura, you look so pretty. Uh, she says, Laura, you look so pretty. <laughs> oh, you see what I did there? So guys, if you have any makeup studio products purchase or you have makeup courses, ke bare mein koi bhi inquiry hai, you can call us on 011 Four one six zero one nine eight seven. I will be putting the details in the comments section. So thank you, Sharon. It was thank a you. great demonstration. I hope so. I hope you uh, everything was clear for everybody. Everybody enjoyed. Can we have here I'm back? So glad. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you guys. Hi. Yeah. It was great. Hey, here. Hi, Sharon, and hi, Avlin. Thank you so hi, much. Yeah. It was great having you on the Makeup Peak Virtual. Thank Amazing, Sharon. I hope you liked it. Yeah, did some glamour and we did a lot of drama. <laughs> yes, totally. I'm oh, glad. Thank you. For all of the viewers, we would request you to please stay updated and say, uh, stay tuned to the Makeup Week India pages for the upcoming sessions. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much, Bye. everyone. Bye bye.